What is up guys? Welcome to the video. Today I don't really have like an outline of what I want to do, but I do want to cover this subject which is kind of like self-love. Self-love and being a female and being a female in this society and being a female in the fitness world. This video is mainly towards females, but if you're a male and you can get something out of it also, then go ahead. So I'm just going to begin. Mm. This is celebration, this is levitation. Look at how you win the nail. This is dedication. This is Okay guys, so this is a topic that I struggle with a lot. Self-love is something that I think a lot of females struggle with. In society today, everybody is telling us to do different things. People say, um, how to lose weight, um, why you shouldn't care about what people think about you, why you should have a small waist, why you should have a big butt, why you should have bigger boobs, why blah 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 blah. You know, if the list goes on and on. And um, the most important thing is that you love yourself. I struggle with this a lot because I look at people on Instagram and I look at people online on Pinterest and I want to look like them. Like, why can't I look like them? Um, it's it, You kind of get down sometimes that you don't look like them um, because they just seem to have it all together. And so it's very important to love yourself and it's very important that you love your body. As a female, it's so hard to love your body. That's a lot to ask, honestly. And everybody has flaws. Everybody has something they want to change. And it's very hard to look in the mirror and be completely satisfied with your entire body. And so it's just very important that you love yourself. Like I said, society tells you all these different things. And especially in the fitness industry, you see um, how to get a bigger butt, how to get bigger legs, six exercises to get you that six pack, um, all this stuff. In the fitness world, the ideal female would have muscular legs, a big butt, small waist, big boobs. Um, arm definition, all this stuff. And I know for me it's very hard when I don't look like that, when I am not living up to those standards, because let's be honest, a lot of people are not born with big boobs or like even decent sized boobs. A lot of people have small boobs and it's hard when you see all these fitness models and these inspirational people that have those implants because it makes that the image that you want to go for. And um, it's very hard to be happy with your own body when you see those kind of people out there. Not that I am judging people that get implants or anything, but I'm just saying that it is very difficult to love yourself when you see that out there. And so I want to let you females out there know that it is okay to be yourself in a world that is telling you to be everybody else. It's okay that you do not look like the big fitness models out there. It's okay that you don't have the biggest butt, the roundest butt, the most muscular legs, the thigh gap. It's okay that you don't have that. I just want you guys to know that you are special and that you are important and that you always need to be yourself and no matter what society says to do, you need to stay true to you and if you have a goal, if you have plans, if you have dreams, go chase your dreams and follow through with your plans and meet your goals and it doesn't matter if your goals are different than somebody else's goals ignore all the negativity in your life so when people say that you can't do something let them know that you can and let them know that you can by your actions by actually doing it I want you ladies out there to remember to never give up and to always chase your goals always chase your dreams and also I found this I saw this quote the other day it says don't compare your chapter 1 to somebody else's chapter 20. And I think Tram said this in her video actually. I love this quote because a lot of females out there want to compare themselves and their fitness journey to somebody else's fitness journey that have been doing this for years. It takes years, it takes discipline, hard work, and a lot of the times it takes money. I just want you ladies to know that you do not need to compare yourself to anybody and that you need to be your own motivation and that I believe in you and I hope you guys always chase your dreams and that's what I wanted to leave you guys with today I just wanted to touch on the subject not only for you guys but also for me I struggle with this all the time it's hard for me to love myself and love my body when I'm comparing myself to other people and so I just wanted you guys to know that you don't have to do that and so that is going to conclude this video I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys later